Hi, how are you? It's Ching. Today, this video, we're going to talk about the pain in your feet and your toes and how to strengthen them, how to stretch them out first, then we're going to strengthen them. So last, last video, we already talked about the relationship of your leg to your ankle and your foot because all the muscles are going down and we learn how to articulate them right so know how they work so i will put an end screen so you can go over there to you can tap it and uh, check it out so i can save a little time for today so we're going to talk about foot and the toe pain okay we're going to most majorly the company there's the four of them so i'm going to talk about structure of your foot first okay so i'm put my foot up right here you see the bottom of my foot, okay? So, so now you have, we call the heel bone. The true name is calcaneus, okay? So that heel bone, you got a towers hook under in between the ankle bone so you can move, right? Remember, inverting and everting. So in and out, okay? So that's that part. And then coming toward, toward your toes, you have a beautiful arch here, right? So the arch is consists of five bones there. They're very, very important. I'll talk about a little later. I'm just introduce the structure first. After the arch, you have five metatarsals, just like your hand. You got five metacarpals, okay? So there are five bones. When I'm popping out, you see the tendon. Those are not bones. The bones are deep to the tendon, okay? So there are five. So there's a lot of muscle in between those metatarsals sometimes cause problem. We'll talk about those. And then the rest will be your toes, right? So your toe, just like your hand, you have a big toe, very powerful, just like your thumb. There are two joints here, like your thumb, we'll call two phalanges, okay? Then you have four toes, like a four finger. Each toes, like each finger, you have three section, the three phalanges, or supposed to call toe and toenage, we're still gonna call Phalanges. So together, three times four is twelve, right? Remember we, we talked about that already from the finger when we had when I introduced the hand exercise. So now you got two on your big toes. So that's the structure of your foot. You got a calcaneus, right? It's a quick review. Toss between the ankle bone. Okay. Then you have your arch, you have the metatarsal and the phalanges. Okay. So that arch are so so important in this foot. So if the, the curiosity comes, right? People say, why is my foot so small? I don't care what size you are, or I don't care what size your foot is, compared to the rest body, they're really small. And we put this heavy body on top. Why is it so small? Because, you know, it's kind of, it's really wonderful. Give you a lot of appreciation. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be more, right? So what's happening is about the structure. It's the engineer, right? The engineer to how a physics engineer to. So we have an arch here, okay? The arch, you can see the arch, you can see this way, you can see this way, then they're small over. So they're kind of three portion of the arch. Okay, so now the reason they put an arch here you see all the bridge design? The arch bridge is so pretty. The on top is flat, sometimes a little arch. You know, like you see the Japanese and Chinese garden, we like to have an arch bridge, right? And uh, it's so, the reason is, okay, Adobe too, in the house of Adobe, they put a mud on top. The structure of the arch is, if you put weight on top of that arch, the arch is stronger because the weight distributes to the end. So we have a here on our feet. So our, our foot doesn't have to be gigantic. It's just right for your body. And uh, the weight distribute right to the arch, go to your toes and heel, right? So you support. So the most important thing, because we're human, we have muscles. So the muscle had to be strong to hold that structure. So if you say you have flat foot, it's okay. Your life is not over, okay? So I, I see a lot of wonderful modern dancers. They, they have flat foot, but they strength because they're dancing, they use the foot so much, right? Like last week we talked about how to articulate, wake up all those muscles, how to circle, right? Inverting, everting. We'll do a little bit of that today too. 
So your foot got stronger, you put your weight on top, it give you what? Really good balance. And because it's the size is proper, right? It give you eye job, edge job. You can run, but you can dance. So you don't want this big foot, right? Because you see the image, but um, and, and I'm not gonna say too much. You can think about it already, imagine it. So our foot are so, so important because what? It helps walking, running, dancing, going places, everywhere you wanna go, right? You have to take yourself to it. So, okay, so there are four symptoms cause pain. The first one is called a plantar fasciitis. Itis is mean inflammation. The inflammation makes you hurt, like you bump your, your head, okay, lips on the door, it swell right up, right? The inflammation coming. The inflammation came in, it's blood coming to repair right away. But so if you, if you say, okay, put an ice on to take down a little bit, so it's too much, it's too much, right? So we don't need that much, it's just, just a little lips. So you put ice on to slow down that inflammation, just like if there's an accident, you know, in school, if some kids fell, everybody's going there to want to help. But then the paramedic comes, get everybody go away. We would only need the right person, the right profession to go for the help, right? So same thing, the right profession is your eyes. So, but the problem is, so your bodies know how to repair right away, but you didn't change. You keep causing that information, we say, prolonged information, right? Chronic situation coming. So you, you didn't change. The information is a message, say, hey, hey, listen, gotta do something, right? You, do, you remember what? Little, little eyes or massage, that's called an acute situation. When it's chronic, you want chronic, they got stuck, right? You put a little bit of heat, you warm it up to put, right? Because it's promoting the circulation from movement or heat to, right, help it recover better. Okay, can you see the differences? When do you use eyes? Acute, you just bumped it. Okay, now that you don't, hopefully you don't bump your lips all the time. So anyway, so the bottom of your feet is hard because you walk all the time. So we keep hurting it, keep hurting it, keep hurting it, and wish it goes away, right? Do you know that, right? We all wish it just go away by itself. <laughs> it says, no, I'm the messenger, I'm talking to you, so don't wish, you gotta do something. So that's the curiosity always come to think, what can I do? So the problem is prolonged. It happens all the time. So you, you first thing remember massage, which we last, last week we did, we massaged the bottom of your feet with the tennis ball, so go check out. So another symptom you have is called a Morton's Neurama. Happens between the metatarsal, the happens on the third and the fourth. I have to stay awake. Then it might happen on the second and third, but most of the time it's the third and the fourth, but that, that space are so tight. There's a lot of intrinsic muscle in between the metatarsal, right? Holding that shock absorber coming from your art, from your running, from high impact. You know, dancer, gymnast, we jump, tennis, I mean tennis, all the racket sports, especially what? Basketball, right? A lot of jumping happens. So that shock absorb is not the shoes, it's really your feet. Shoes is protect yourself so you don't get blistered, right? So now your feet have to be strong by itself so you can do. So $300 or even more, very expensive shoes. I know it's great, become fashion. And uh, sorry about the shoe company, but I really want you to strengthen your feet first, okay? So the shoes I wear for hiking, running, if I do a run, I run in my yard on the grass so I don't get a terrible impact because I had bunion already, right? I took care of it. We can talk about bunion later. And it doesn't hurt anymore. So I don't want to go to that old days, my, my dancing career, right? So, so that's what caused it. So I'm a little more careful now when I do, and I don't do prolong, right? So if you run, I, I just, I, I create a running forward, running backwards, running sideways, making that S figure A, all different directions so that my leg can work. There's so many muscles, AD doctor, AB doctor, quadricep, hamstring, the calf, they all got to work. So we're not doing the same thing over and over and over. Okay, so that keep my mind sharp. 
and I'm more agile too, so it creates a lot of fun things to do. Okay, so that's Morton's Neurama. And uh, the other two is your Banyang, which I have. Doesn't hurt anymore, I fixed it. No surgery, right? So then toes, we call the hammer toes. Banyang and hammer toes, all this, like all those four symptoms I just talked about, plantar fasciitis, Morton's Neurama, or the inter, inter the torso neurama, okay, they're the same name with Morton, and the hematose and banya, they are, the cause are similar. It caused by, the movement will be repetitive, high impact, okay, and uh, shoes, uncomfortable shoes, too tight. So Tan Tan Morton's neurama, will, uh, the common name is a tight lace symptom, right? You tighten up, the other one you don't need to if you wear those high heels, right? There's so so many kind of shoes, ballroom shoes, ballet point shoes, golf shoes, nice high heels. So that's why Morton's neurama but you tend to happen to the girls more often because that high heel, right? Same thing with the hammer toes. We keep digging our toes into the shoes. So if you are the runner, right? You really, really need to think about the shoe, the box of shoes a little wider because start running the first two miles, right? First mile, you warm up, and then the feet start swell because the blood is coming. So it gets bigger. So you need to, right? Make sure that shoe is very comfortable. Don't tie it up at least. So <clears throat> I tend to, I love to wear five vibrant shoes. They're designed to running on the soft, soft surface or if you go hiking, on the nature surface, not on the tar, not the black tar, okay? So, black tar, okay. So now, so your feet are smaller, so you make, give you that agile movement, right? We talk about. Um, now, the hammer toes, right? Um, let's look at shoes, look at the bottom feet again. I have one more point to do, I'll try to, not to forget. <clears throat> So you see the most narrow part of your foot is actually your heel, not here. So why we keep buying shoes that narrow in the front, right? But in the old days, might their purpose is gonna kick somebody with the point toes, <laughs> the point shoes, okay, the cowboy boots. And so, <clears throat> you know, riding the horse. So there's a purpose right here. The box the here, the torso is really the, it's called a head metal torso, it's a ball of your foot. It's the widest point. So when you buy shoes now, you're gonna pay attention. You want a nice wide. You don't want it when you go to toes and punch them and pinch them, you have hammer toes. Hammer toes start limit, limit the gait, how you walk properly, because your toes so hammer, sometimes really hurts. And then you get, right, calluses on the, knock, on the knuckles. There's a lot of problems sometimes. Most of the time, actually, most of the time when my client comes into my studio, shoes off. You don't wear shoes in the studio. I want to keep it clean, especially now COVID-19, right? Everything is about hygiene. So you come in. I want to look at your feet right away, right? So you say, I know the foot problem, it causes a lot of things, okay? So people want to come say, I want a strong biceps. So no, I don't do that. I do the whole body. I want every part of your body harmonized together. I don't want, I don't care about how big your thigh is, all this, it's not functional, okay? So we're gonna go right into it now. Oh, I can talk a lot about all the problems I see, but I don't want to. Let's talk about how to the solution, right? So you can sit on the floor, okay? Usually you feel flexible. Remember we did on the floor with the belt and the second part of that we didn't talk about, so I'm gonna save it for today. You are working on your soleus, and your Achilles, right? So go to toward your foot a little bit more. So you can do it 90, you want to bend your knee 90 degrees, see that? That's 90 degrees. You sit on the floor, you can do this on the floor. You bring up, this is plantar fascia either stretch. Okay, so I save it for today. So right here, I'm right here. Um, my heels in line with my, this is my right leg. My right heel in line with the right, right sits bone. I dorsal, remember dorsiflex, you can try the tibialis anterior. You can see that, and peronis, lones, and bravus. The stir up muscle, bring your foot up. So you active do this, and I use my right hand, same side, the heel of my palm, extend my toes, plantar fascia, 
goes all the way to the metatarsal, the head of my body foot. So I have to get that. Then I pull. You feel this pain right here. Okay, don't overdo. <clears throat> Most of the time, you, you won't hurt yourself. You want to get to the place you can feel the tolerate pain. So you say, now I'm talking to you, I'm stretching them. So they're not like this, right? They're not, they not tensed up because they say, it's going to hurt me again, she's going to hurt me again. So they're getting tighter and tighter. So it's protecting. So now we stretch. We'll get that fascia opened up. Okay, so that's the first way. This is dorsal flexion. Then we're going to add the everting pull. You feel that, remember, tongue dig and hairy. So there's a deep, deep, call it compartment muscle, okay? So it come in. So sometimes a compartment, they do surgery these days. I'm, I'm trying to tell, be patient. Use the more conservative way to do it. You will get better for a long time. Of course, you don't just do this for today. You're going to do it for a while, okay? And you can use this also for prevention, prevention. So after run, you need to do all this. And then you go, this is the inverting and pull. So if you can sit on the floor, I'm using the chair, okay? So I just need to finish. I have, you have one more. You're going to bring the heel really close to your sit bone. So everybody's like this now, right? So <clears throat> then you do exactly the same for the plantar fascia. You get to the heel a little more and you accumulate because this line to your heel, to that plantar fascia, you see that? Has to really stretch out so you can solve the problem for real. Or true, right? Truthfully solving everything. So when you do all this, you get a lot of appreciation of how your body's construct. It's not rocket science, but it's amazing. <laughs> okay? So you should be able to do this. So I'm going to show you how to do this without sitting on the floor. People say, forget it, I can't do this. No, never forget it. Find a, find a good way. Okay, so right here. Okay. So remember last video too, uh, we used the, this is my dining chair. So you can see right in the front, I'm gonna put my right foot up. So then I do left too, so you can get it to see twice. See, this is 90 degree. So I can sit just one leg up, the other, so because your hamstring is tight, right? And the lower back is tight. And your back is not strong to hold yourself up. There's a lot of little things. <laughs> but let's, do, let's see how you solve. In the problem right now, gradually everything gets better and better. Okay, one thing time. It's like, I, call, I say this, it's like remodeling a house. Remodeling is much, much harder than building a brand new house, right? A lot of times you say, you open the shoe rock, you see there's a lot of mold, there's more problem, there's a termite. There's a lot of other things. So remodeling is really hard. So you take care of one thing. You say, oh, my back is tired. My fire, oh, my hip fire. Now. Why does it hurt? Right? <laughs> so we little by little, right? if you bend your knee all the way, this should not hurt. If it fire up, the hip flexor, the tensor fascia is like too tight. You're going to do the hip flexor stretch. Look for it. It's, in, it's all in my, well, I've done all of them already. So here we go. We're going to focus today's work. Okay. Dorsal flexion, like I did earlier on the floor. So this dorsi flex, right? This is popping up. I use the heel on my palm. I pull. I will park my rib cage on my quadricep so I can get a better leverage. Okay. Let's do about six times. Three. Exhale. Four. Of course, you can do up to six to eight, but we have so much to do. So I do a little less the number. Don't do 100 times. It doesn't work. Okay, right here, you already stretched it, right? So here you go. More is not always better. Now I'm gonna do everting. See, everting contract here, this tendon here. I use the heel of my palm again. S extend all your toes. It's called extension because the plantar fascia, remember, goes to the bobby foot. So I take care of that part. Then I use the other hands to give you a little more, right? Strength to stretch. So now I'm stretched. Uh, right the compartment muscle tendon right called the tongue dig and hair go all the way to the bottom of your feet especially the tibials posterior right go to the arch so you feel them it's good if you feel them so oh i got it i target it i target it it's so good and exhale go and exhale okay so the flexor distorts lungs and flexor hellas lungs we're stretching all of them go let's do two more Ah, 
my breathing, inhale, exhale is the stretch. Okay, now you're inverting, when I use inside, makes sense, right? So here we go, it's a little common sense sometimes. So I use inside hand, this outside hand, my right hand is the help. Oh, this one, you might not feel much because this tend, tend to stretch more. Go and inhale, exhale, this is fine. So last movement here. Inhale, but you're still gonna do it. So we can try to be fair, right? <laughs> Harmonize every part. And here's the last one. Okay, sometimes forget the number. So forgive me, okay? So because I'm talking so much. So that's the 90 degree. You get your soleus, the second layer of gastro, and your plantar fascia and involving with the compartment muscle. There's three of them, right? One is the tibialis posterior. Now, I'm gonna, you're gonna slide yourself all the way back. This is the only time you use the back. Okay, see how short that my heels are? It's okay. So from here, you put your footing. If you have a knee problem, just, just a little bit, it's fine. Gradually, you should be bend your knee fully. The heel still in line with the sit bone, okay? So here we go. Now I'm gonna stretch the Achilles tendon. I'm gonna isolate my calf and my soleus and the compartment muscle. I'm gonna get to this Achilles. The Achilles tendon, the Achilles tendon right here, right, is part of the fascia from your gastro and the soleus. It goes all the way to your heel and kind of your neighbor of the plantar fascia, okay? So what happened is you have to stretch all of them. They are involved. So our body is a union, okay? We don't want to specialize one part only, and then you get in trouble. Okay, so ready? Here we go. That's why I have so many exercises to offer to you. So we have um, special three, we have three big category, right? Purposeful movement, this is part of purposeful. And going one, into free exercise. I have all those workshops. Someday when the world opened up, I can see you, you can come meet me. We can work together and go in the workshop and then you can go home practice my correctly and come up. So this is dorsal flexion only. We do two more, go. So I get my Achilles tendon, still the plantar fascia toward the heel part. Okay, here we go. Now, invert, inverting again, go out, pull. Okay. Whoa, inhale, exhale. You really like to have that, oh my goodness, right? Oh, whoa, you know, sensations. Oh, I target it, I target it. And go, let's do three more. And two, don't forget breathing. Exhale, okay. So if this part really hurts, that's you have shin spleen because I have to contract this tibialis anterior and the extensor digitonus longus inside to get my foot, you know, the ball of my foot off the table. I mean, right now it's the chair and I still use the table. So inhale, go inside now. One, hollow time, sit very tall, two, and right, no forward head. Bring your head back, three, so you look good. And four, right? You focus the whole body. And the five. And exhale, six. Okay, great. So that's the plantar fascia stretch. We're gonna do it again with the left foot so you can review. So I'm turning a little bit so you can see. Okay, so now 90 degree right here at the knee. Okay, this foot's on the floor. See, I just slide myself forward to the, to the front of the chair. So I do dorsiflexion, oh, okay, yeah, okay. I'm pretty good, I set up pretty good, I'm ready. So, going one. Oh my goodness, this one is much tighter. Two, right, can you see? I extend the toes, right? And uh, good, here we go, four. Right, my rib cage park on the quadricep. Five, that will help you, don't fire up you. Tensor fascia lata, six. Okay, ready? Everting, pull one. You're gonna feel right here, one. All the way to the plantar fascia, the bottom of your feet, two. two. Inhale, exhale, three. So if you're a runner, right? Or if you're riding any repetitive movement, if you're a rack sports, right? Love to swing those racket, you gotta do this. 
if you don't have time before, <clears throat> before is even better because your game will be better. And you have to do, you're supposed to do before and after, okay? People say, I know, I don't have that time. Fine, go ahead, hurt yourself. But <laughs> sorry, but you have to do it after. If you don't have time for before, don't you like to win? You got to do it before so your games feel better because you, if your game's not good, you might kind of say, oh, this week is not good. I get to do warm up. No, no. Yes. Okay. Going here, lots of issue goes in. So you want to do a really good preparation. So, right, last one. <clears throat> so you don't want to, you don't want to create problem. You try to prevent. Even sometimes you're not the best, but you do the best you can. So you don't not mad at yourself and go. Here we go. Exhale. I always learn from mistake, right? But you don't want to create a mistake and go, especially after you know already, right? If you know you create a mistake, and you have to take it in. <laughs> and exhale. Don't blame other people and go. Okay, so that's the first part. Okay, I'm gonna sit all the way back. I'm diagonal so you can see better. So I put the heel really close to your sit belt. Don't go like this. Can you see that? Now I'm twist my knee and I'm not in line. So I'm gonna bring in here. So because I wanna to talk to my Achilles. So you go one. So once you set up your back's nice support, you kind of squeeze yourself together. Three and the four. You see my, this muscle is relaxed. That's why it's like a pop out, okay? Because it's not contract. Only the fronts contract and go. And last one. Now, everting. One. You say, oh, yeah, I can feel that medial portion of my ankle. Those muscles called the Tom, Dick, and Harry, which is compartment muscle. And go. And hollow tummy. Sit tall, hollow tummy. And last one. Everything goes out because it's stretch. Good. Right this way. One. Feel the energy, feel the feedback too. Like I say, if this is really tight, if it hurts, straight your legs, just go, it's okay, it's okay, I'm not trying to torture you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put it all together. I just met you, I know, I have a shin splint. My shin hurts so bad. And uh, to show you how to stretch your shin too. And go, last one. Ooh, and me turn, okay? Straight your leg and you shake out a little bit. But if you want to, you can also give it a little massage, pull up, right? Massage your shin, just a little pounding is good, okay? It will release right away. Okay, the shin splint stretch is pretty much like this. You can go big toe and the uh, four toes, okay? And uh, that's part of a uh, Qigong warm up. So if you want to learn more, uh, look at the qi Qigong video. And we have the Qigong basic warm up. We do all that too. Build right in. Remember, warm ups important before you exercise, then you stretch out after. Okay, so that's the plantar fascia itis stretch. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the toes. The Morton's, Morton's Neurama, the tie here, right? Remember, you can use the tennis ball to fanning out, to fanning out that area. So you have to put a ball underneath here, which I taught last video, right? Put it under here that help you thinning out that metatars a little bit. So what you create space, when you create space, your lot of blood comes in to repair the, the nerve, right? So the muscle got to, because you exercise so much, so blood come to the muscle, muscle swell and pinch the nerve, right? Neurama is a nerve. So pinch that nerve, the nerve start inflamed too. So the nerve starts saying, okay, give me space. So I try to punch out. So then you get the sharp pain or sometimes even numb toes, right? So use the tennis ball, which I'm not going to demonstrate today. That's at the end of the video. I want to show you how to stretch and massage your toes now, okay? Then we do strengthening after. We're almost there. So many parts of your body. So right here, you see, I'm showing you here. Okay, so I'm part. You park your right foot, you kind of like cross your leg on the left, okay? So right now, I'm grab all my toes. Let me move this out a little bit. Okay, so I'm grab all my toes. I'm gonna do this movement. It's called flexion. 
which we don't do often. Remember last week with the ankle flex the toes. You go, <laughs> it doesn't listen to you. I call it long distance talk, which we don't talk to. So I can do this, but if it's hard, or if it's because massage, you need to assist a little bit. Okay, so then use your own hand to assist. So here you go, you stretch. You go, oh, I can feel all this stretch. Okay, so open, get ready. This is easy, we just did already, so I'm not gonna do the extension to stretch the bottom. Do you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, we already did this, so I'm not gonna do this again. So you, you just do the flexion first. You flex your toes, like your hands. When you grab something, you flex your hand. Same thing, you flex your toes. Okay, so that's done. Okay, there's lots of movement. Your toes supposed to have space. So you can do A, B, dog, you can see my finger. You separate each finger. Okay, separate one, separate next one, separate the other. Okay, that's not easy to do. Okay, now I'm gonna separate. I'm, I'm holding the big toe and my second toe, I separate. So there's a web here, right? Got so tight. You never got a chance to breathe, it's not good. You don't like anybody hold your breath, right? So now open, so that's called abduction. So big toe, second toe, second toe, third toe. So sometimes you go, oh my goodness, it's like I'm ripping my toes. In between that, I'm ripping the web. It's okay, so we only do three times. Then go down again, three times. This one is tight because of my right? motor neurama. And stretch it out, okay? So I have a subscriber asked me to, it just so happened, this is exactly what I'm gonna do today from last my, this video and then from the last video. So follow through. So I'm separate that A, B dot, okay? So you do wanna separate, make sure your toes straight. So I'm gonna do one thing. Um, when, you, when you did this, right? I hope you stretch the, if you have hematos, it's very important, I use my finger to show you, hematos like this, okay, hematos. See the hammering? And you have, you have calluses right here and sometimes it hurts so bad. So hammer, right? So you wanna stretch them out. So if you really have hammer toes, we're gonna to do the extend one more time, but I'm gonna show you how to do with the other finger, okay? And fingers gonna help you. So big toe, if it's a hammer, usually doesn't do as much. So the big toe tend to cross over because the shoe is pointed. So the big toe tend to cross over over here and then you, could, you see some people's toes all overlap. Like they, they, they like, they look like a shoe you're wearing, right? Uh, that's no, you, you torture your feet. Don't want that, you want them separate, nice and feel. You, after we do this, you can feel how great that feels. So now I'm gonna use my finger. I stretch the bottom. So I'm gonna use my finger to stretch the bottom of your toes. And three times each time to make that toe come straight again, okay? You're gonna do this a lot. And so, because later on, you're not gonna be able to run in because you can push off to go forward because toes hammer, can you see? You're not using your toes, not good, right? Balance, shock absorber, you're gonna lose your balance. And you do each one, and then each one, and each one, however you can, you see the same side or opposite side, okay? So you're gonna get those toes stretch out. That's the hammer toe special, okay. So we just did AB doctrine hammer toe special. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do opposition, I would call the toe splitting. So it's like you split and you split. So it's like doing a split with the leg. So now I'm, I'm gonna pull my big toe up and press. I'm gonna go to, my finger goes to knuckle. The head of my toe, so I'm stretch and stretch. I'm gonna opposition, go and go. So you're gonna have a really, right, help, helpful hands to do this. Now I'm go to the second toe and the third toe. Go and go, stretch the toes open. You do a nice split. That's the most important one, which is the last movement of your toes. And go and go and stretch, separate the toes. One goes down, the other one goes up. Opposition, when that goes down, you goes up. 
The one goes up, goes down. And go. And then last two. Ah, keep breathing. Go. Whoa. Okay. I didn't know my feet that much trouble. Then you massage it off. You know, use your thumb and rubbing your feet. It's so nice. It's nice for other people massage your foot. You can do it yourself. You know, because your foot's always with you. <laughs> so cross your leg, massage your foot, or use a tennis ball to massage your foot. Okay? You gotta do it. If you don't do it, it gets worse because you keep using and not taking care. It's like I'm keeping working and not eating, right? Fasting is important, but you don't want to fast forever, right? Because your body needs your nutrient. Now, when I put my foot down, I can see it's so red. The blood circulation comes in. Now, if I stand up, if you stand up, you take a couple of steps, just standing there. You say, "Wow, my foot is like can spread out. The energy is fanning out." And you take a couple of steps. This is how you're supposed to walk, okay? Toe ball heel, toe ball heel. You don't walk with the heel down first because now you're ruining the knee, hip socket. Never run with the heel down, okay? So heel go and go back to today's work. Too much to talk. Okay, now left foot. Okay, so I massage a little bit. So you see, I cross my leg. You can see the bottom now, and exhale. Okay, this is flex, flex your toes. Use your hand to help all the way to the knuckle here. That's called a head of the torso. Okay, you can see this bone popping, the, the knuckles, like this knuckle here, you have on your toes. The bottom we call the ball, okay, but the common name we just call a head of metatarsal. That's why I use a lot. So when I do this, I'm not doing that. Can you see? That's your ankle. I want your ankle straight so I can really get this properly stretched out, okay? So now I say, oh, oh my goodness. If you run a lot, this is very tight, okay? So second one. A, B, dog, right? So I'm separate the big toe and second toe. And the next one. Do it three, four times. And the next two. So the third toe and fourth toe. Now the fourth and the little toe. Okay? So remember, if you hammer toe, you put your one finger there. Keep that toe straight to come up. Okay? Put your finger underneath and stretch open the underside. It all curled up, right? It's all curled up. You're gonna open the underside. Do that three, four times too. Each toe, right? So each toe. And so I use, I use my finger, my point finger as a brace, right? So guide it. So now keep going. And of course, then you get the little toe. When you do the little toe, make sure you pull out a little bit because it's tend to like a shoe shape, right? Pulls out a little bit, give a little space, like A B dog and extend. So this movement called abduction and extend a little bit. Same thing when you do a big toe, I want to right A B dog and extend a little bit, go out a little bit because my bunion, my big toe tend to go over there. Can you see that big bunion? So I did a lot of foot exercise. It doesn't hurt anymore and I'm still very functional, okay? Doing a lot of things. So now, the last one is toe split, okay? So I'm bringing my big toe up, second toe under. So you can see the toe split, and I separate, go. So this you can see better from the left foot. You can see I'm separated toes opposition. I'm gonna keep my big toe in line with the big toe, don't go over there, okay? Because I, otherwise I'm promoting Bunyans again. Now second toe and third toe. Stretch the bottom of your toes and go. Okay, all this happens right here. Okay, the junction is the knuckle and the knuckle. So you can get the toes. Now next two. Third toe and the fourth toe. You can do this when you're watching TV. Okay, so when you're not because you really don't have to kind of like have a good form or anything, but you want to make sure you stretch correctly for the toes. Okay, split and massage it off. Okay, so just, oh, here, my toes, there's always, there's lots of joint there and massage it off. Grab hold the heel, circle a little bit. Now you put your foot down, you can see 
There's space. I have space for every single toe. And then same thing, right? You're standing up. You take a couple steps. You say, "Oh, my toes say thank you." I'm out of jail. <laughs> You'll get a nice car to get out of jail. Get a couple of steps. <gasps> this is how you walk. Toe ball heel. Nice shock absorb. Okay. We talk about lots of things later on. So once those are opened up, you bounce actually better. So you can definitely practice like bounce. Take one foot off. Forever looking far. And now you can feel all those special, those three muscles. TBLs, anterior, extensor, digitalis, lowest, and hellus does a nice balance, okay? When you say, that's not bad, close your eye. Close your eye and see what happens, right? Okay, here we go. Other side. So you slowly peel the other and get a nice, you can feel them. It's a little hard because I'm on the mat. That's a good challenge. Yeah, whatever is hard is good, right? Do it on the floor. If it's too hard for you, go to the flat floor. Okay, so that flat, so a little bit challenged because what I'm doing right now, that little movement, that computing, right? Your muscle is computing, right? Whoop, that's too much computing. So my muscle is computing and uh, my muscle is so what? I'm actually strengthening them already, okay? Last part here. Put your leg right on the chair, sit very tall. Okay, so ready? Ankle, toes, when strengthen up, flex your toes. Pick up a pencil, don't let it go, drop. Again, flex, pick up a pencil and go. So now I'm really, I'm working all the compartment muscles, but in your feet, right? If you run, your foot start numbing. That's the, that's the reason, right? Because they're too tight. They don't have power anymore. They're talking to you. And everting plantar flexion, inverting dorsiflex. Remember I say that's how you circle your ankle joint. Four movements. Okay, so let's try the other way for movement. This is all from last week's, uh, the previous video too. Uh, it's in the end screen, you can check it out. Okay, now here comes the trick. I'm going to inverting, I flex my toe. Can you see I flex my toe? I pick it up, I can pick up a, holding a rose pad and a rose or pencil, let go and go. Now, what happened is I just warm me up, stretch your toes. So now you can use them a little easier. There you start, right? Synopsis and all the connection, communication, all happens through the nerves and goes on out at the everting, right? You start flex your toes, go all the way up to dorsal flexion, return and go. So from here, you do want to use your leg a little bit, bring back to it and return. Last one and return, okay? So now I try the other leg and then I show you modification. So ankle, toes, flex your toes, you ready? Flex even more, you're gonna hold that pencil and drop. And flex your toes, hollow your tummy, sit tall. Okay, once you strengthen those muscles, you can do so much more, right? You stretch, you massage, right? Remember, you massage, you stretch, and then strengthen. And you do strengthen. Ready? Circle around. So, so this is all what? Massaging, stretching to get rid of the problem. Reverse. You stretching, you strengthening, you start preventing, right? Happens again. So your feet got stronger. But those three things goes together. Don't separate them. Massage, stretching, strengthening. To right, prevent everything. So ready, here we are, prevent injury. Flex, flex, flex. Again, you recover from injury and you prevent, okay, because, because they, they're the same, right? They're the muscles that cause the trouble. Here you go, flex coming up, and the flex coming up, and the flex coming up. Last one, flex coming up, and return. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just keeping looking. I say, okay, <laughs> I, I shaved my leg this morning, so I don't want to see your hairy legs. 
and I, I just realized I cut myself, you know, bleeding a little bit. No problem, doesn't hurt. And uh, so, okay, that's strengthening part. The modification of it, when you sit here, I'm gonna put my foot on the floor so you can see. You can do this. If, if this one, if this is too hard, right? Say, it won't work. So you say, okay, you sit here, do the same thing. You flex, you pick up a confetti. You pick up a confetti. And you pick up a confetti. Don't do this, okay? Don't drop your head down. And just, you can see it, I'm sitting tall. And now I'm gonna go to this side, so that's called everting, okay? Goes out, pick up confetti. Keep the outside of your foot down, drop. Pick it up and drop. Pick it up, I give you some modification. I always give you some way to do it so there's no excuse not to do because we're so easy to find, right? Hundreds of excuses. Here you go, flex going out. To tell us, right, we keep saying willpower, <laughs> so much harder to tell us to do the right thing. But if that's not your problem, good. And you now can, you can learn new things right away. So your brain cell live longer than your life, lifetime. And so what you need to do, keep stimulating. If you don't keep stimulated, right? They start getting lazy. And other things coming, kind of what? Dementia, Parkinson, all this stuff comes in. And, but if you stimulate, you keep learning new things. The most important is to keep learning new things. Remember I talk about Jim Quick and uh, so many other people have proven called neurogenesis and neuroplasticity. How you stimulate new brain cell and keep them nice and right, operating freshly, is by learning new things. Keep your mind clear and open, flex. Make sure you have a good night's sleep. So in the morning, your mind's fresh. You need to rest. And you use a fresh eye to look at things you're solving problem right away. So go. Again, so you see that? Okay, now pick up this pile and take it out. So this is, a, you, this is called a closed kinetic chain. If you have touched something, it's easier to make your foot doing things or the other body. That's why Pilates creates a lot of, uh, Joseph Pilates created all his apparatus. He, we don't call them machine. And uh, apparatus too, you can hold on to it, making the right structure, how you do without the scapula goes up. Okay, so that's another topic. Um, I think that's it for today. So hope you take good care of yourself. You don't want foot and toe pain because you got to walk. You're gonna walk every all the room in your house, right? Your apartment going up and down the stair, even just to walk to your car, walk to the train, walk to the bus. You need to use your feet, make them happy and recognize how much they do and reward them with right, massaging, stretching and strengthening, keep them alive. So you have a happy, right, journey. Remember journey? Happy journey through your life, okay? Take good care. Thank you so much for watching.